I am Jatin Chaudhary. I am the co-founder of Echai Network. We host engaging startup networking meetups in 25 global startup cities. We have a membership program going on where if you become a Echai member, you get access to all our meetups, startup offers. Uh, we have this fantastic one-on-one -on -one video call feature where you can make calls with other founders and be part of our Telegram group as well. We have this amazing show, Startup Roller Coaster, where we invite our founder friends to come and share about ups and downs about their entrepreneurial journey. So today's guest is Harmit from Food Memories. Harmit, thank you so much for joining. Thank you, Jatin, for inviting me. Uh, Harmit, if you can tell us a little bit about your background and what is Food Memories. Yeah, so basically I did my doctorate in management and I used to teach prior to this. I started foodmemories.com about three and a half years back. So when I started Food Memories, it was just a dot-com portal where it, the idea was uh, to have uh, all these specialty vendors from different parts of India on a single platform. But as we have evolved as a company, we are not just a dot-com portal. We are an omni-channel platform wherein we have our physical outlets. We are having our digital presence and we are into uh, corporate gifting as well. So yeah, this is how we started about three and a half years back. Uh, and Harmit, what are the interesting numbers about Food Memories? We have had a fantastic journey as in uh, many ups and downs uh, as uh, many startups uh, must have witnessed. As I mentioned earlier, uh, when we started, we were only having a dot-com portal, but we are dealing with food. And uh, when you are dealing with food, uh, food is an impulse purchase. So people would like to see it, people would like to taste it, people would like to experience it before they purchase it. And people would not like to wait for four, five, seven days uh, for their food uh, to have it. With that objective, we have diversified by only being a dot-com player to have our own physical uh, outlets. As we speak, uh, we have about uh, 12 outlets in NCR. And oh. for the Ahmedabad public, we have recently started our flagship outlet on Sindhu Bhavan Road. We will soon be starting another outlet at uh, CG Road, followed by another outlet uh, at Ahmedabad Airport. So we have about 14 running outlets so far. Uh, plus we have our digital presence. And as far as the corporate numbers are concerned, all these uh, big farmers, uh, they are our clients are each uh, Torrent or Ziders or uh, Intas or Ares and all these farmers from Gujarat mm -hmm. and Elkem and Sun Pharma from Abbott from uh, Mumbai. Apart from that, we are also supplying it to uh, non-farmers as well. Uh, yeah, so far so good. We have clocked about uh, 2 million in revenues uh, last year. And uh, this year, bearing this uh, six months of COVID, uh, the sales number are uh, back on track, especially uh, since uh, last September, October. Awesome. The idea of this show is to talk about ups and downs, which has been the most happiest moment of your entrepreneurial life. See, again, it's, it's being a startup founder. When I was in search of uh, my seed uh, round of funding, I happened to meet uh, delivery founders at uh, one of the uh, bars in uh, Bangalore. And it, it was like a, a, a casual meet uh, over beers and everything. And that's how I got in touch with them. And that meeting turned out uh, to be really good. Then I uh, met them in uh, Gurgaon. And that's how uh, we raised our first round. And after that, we have raised uh, subsequent rounds of funding. But yeah, you can uh, take that as uh, one of the happiest moments. Uh, followed by, uh, I always wanted to have my flagship outlet uh, in one of the prime locations uh, of the city because I belong from Ahmedabad. And just uh, before 20 days back, uh, we have started one in Ahmedabad. So, yeah, you can take uh, those moments as uh, one of the happiest moments. Awesome. And which was the most difficult moment and how did you come out from it? The thing to be uh, really candid with you, when we started, demonetization hit and then followed by a new GST rolled out. And uh, recently, in the last six months, we, everyone, all of us, uh, we're facing this uh, uh, COVID uh, thing. Those uh, were the difficult uh, moments. Bearing aside all these common moments, when we uh, pivoted our business uh, from just being uh, an uh, online portal, pivoted to uh, retail because, you know, retail is uh, very tough. It, it, it's, it, it's like an everyday process and you need to be on your toes uh, if you are uh, facing customers uh, every day and day out. Getting uh, from just uh, being an online portal to uh, become a brick and mortar, uh, that was also one of the difficult things uh, which uh, we have learned uh, over the years. And uh, we talk a lot about learnings from failures. So in your journey, were there any things that you feel that and you could have done a little differently? Yeah, we have uh, pivoted after a year and a half, which according to uh, many other startups and other uh, mentors, uh, which uh, we are coming across with, according to them, it, it, it's a perfect call. But, you know, I do feel that since uh, we were dealing with food, and initial six, eight months, uh, we got that realization that if you're dealing with food, it can't be only uh, dealt with uh, a dot com portal or uh, just via an online thing so i wish i could have uh, done uh, this uh, change in uh, business model and the change in strategy a bit earlier 
but apart from that and we have witnessed very good numbers and very good appreciation ncr outlets so i wish i could have started my year 1 as in metro's journey much before but bearing that so far so good awesome and what is the advice you may want to give your younger self now the only piece of advice is uh, you need to be patient uh, patience is the only key that is what has happened to us because many other startups uh, they have also started uh, on a similar lines of uh, what we have they also gathered specialties from different parts of india and having a portal and everything but patience is the key we have pivoted uh, we being patience we been persistent the way we have pivoted uh, from uh, being a dot com even the corporate sale they help us a lot because all these corporates uh, they give you big volumes so that helps uh, in 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 sustain the business so uh, yeah patience is the key you you, you need to be patient if, if you are uh, there for a long term we'll try to do a rapid fire which is your favorite book or a podcast a favorite book i am not uh, much into reading but since uh, i'm i'm into food so there is this uh, beautiful book which says that my experiment with indian sweets so i'm reading it and prior to that i also read about this the journey of haldi rams how they became from nowhere to uh, 8000 crore company yes. so yeah these were the two books uh, that i've read uh, in recent uh, months and if you were not building food memories what else you would have been doing oh so the thing is since beginning i wanted to do either food or pharma these were the two businesses which were always there in my mind not then this segment the nutraceutical segment is very close to my heart because i do feel that the way we are adopting things from western part of the world over there the demand of this nutraceutical is there everywhere and if we can club nutraceutical with indian ayurveda and if we can come up with something uh, that would be great so if not this uh, then the second best choice is that uh, and so we have this thing where the person we interviewed last they have a question which i'll be asking you and you are also supposed to ask a question so last person yeah. we interviewed was uh, sanjay patel from excellon ip uh, so he asked a question how do you come out from a crisis specifically in covid food industry has faced a lot of problem so what did you do to came out from those challenges uh, so the thing is uh, the thing uh, since we have uh, this uh, unique business model the problem that we have faced uh, we were not having uh, any problems with respect to demand because you everyone all of us uh, what we did during lockdown is uh, we were home and uh, we ate uh, food yep. demand size uh, on the demand side uh, there was not much of a challenge but we were having challenges uh, from supply point of view because because uh, there was this extensive lockdown for 3 months and th- there was uh, there is a challenge in terms of uh, labors and everywhere where we used to get uh, these products from because i am getting product from different parts of india i am not a manufacturer of all these products so for that we need to dealt with all these suppliers and their their supply chain and uh, their labor problems and everything but time is the only healer so we mm-hmm. being patient enough and uh, you know whatever products were available we used to get it and we used to put it on the shelf and at the uh, portal as well but in 3 4 months uh, when situation uh, was back to normal then uh, we got also uh, the normal supply of uh, goods uh, which we used to have uh, before covid okay and what is the question you would want to ask other founders i just uh, have uh, one question because i am personally a uh, very uh, positive person so i want to have uh, their look on uh, next 3 years uh, from here on as in uh, from 21 to 23 how would they see india growing or the startup ecosystem growing from here on okay awesome and why should people join ehi oh i think you know it, it, it's it's been so long since you are uh, there so uh, we don't need uh, any convincing on that <laughs> thank you that so that should be the one line answer as in <laughs> it's been so long it's been more than a decade i think no one should need any convincing uh, on that <laughs> Thank you so much Harmit and we wish you all the best